This is uh, Matthew 15, 21 through 28. And Jesus went away from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. Sidon. Uh, and behold, a Canaanite woman from that region came out and was, was crying, have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon, but he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, send her away, for she is crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. God, help me. And he answered, it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, yes, God, master, creator, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Exactly. Master. Right. Then Jesus answered her, oh, woman, uh, uh, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. So just these just these few um, examples of scripture. Emphasizing the lordship of God. So, you know, Christians, believers, you, you know. You running around and, and, and you screaming, Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior. Remember, because you, you know, you know, I I'm a stickler, I'm a stickler for words. I might mess them up, but I I like using them how they supposed to be used, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like using them in the context and in the the the, the you know what I'm saying, the, the by the definition. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to be clear. I like to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 on point. So when you when you saying Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior, that's saying he's your master. Examine yourself. Is he is he actually your Lord? Is he Lord of your life? Are you actually surrendered to him? And I, I, I I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that you got to have it perfect and you got to do it perfect or I'm not saying that but what I what I am saying is that you should be surrendered to the process of growing and maturing in Christ humbling yourself or allowing yourself to be humbled by the Holy Spirit you know what I'm saying like you 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 should be um um I hate I I hate that the secular world and ungodly people have hijacked this word, but I'm but I'm gonna just go. You have to be progressive in your faith, not progressive as in changing the foundational building blocks and deconstructing, and not progressive like progressive Christianity or progressive political. You know, a pro, uh, uh, progressive. Uh, political view, but progressive in, in in your faith is growing, and your surrendering is growing. You're getting lower and lower. You're humble. You, you, you're you're being humbled. You're being stripped. You're being renewed. You're being restructured over time. You know, we 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 we're not. God don't expect us to be there immediately or get there immediately. And we shouldn't expect that from each other. But what we should expect, and what we sh and what we should promote and cultivate in each other, is the 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 process. Respect the process. I ain't said that in a while. Respecting the process. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man, that's you know I don't got I don't got much I don't, I, don't, I I ain't come to do a whole bunch of hooping and hollering. That's all I got for real. Yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, but, but what I was saying, just like you were saying, people don't mind being the savior. Yeah, 
the kid, like people say, I think, you know, when they get in front of the church, I think a lot, my Lord and Savior, who's first in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But is that you think about it, like, really, are you telling the truth? Right, right. Right. You know I mean, are you, are you, does he have full access to your life? Mm-hmm. Like, if he just tell you, like he did, like he told the disciples, leave everything and fall on me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you drop your job and just, and, and, and just sell everything and fall on me? Can you, can you do that? Mm-hmm. If you have a problem with that, then he's not your Lord. You got the question, like, and this is this the thing, though. This the thing is like, when you lie about something like that, or when you just say it, it don't make it so just because you say it. No, no, I don't. So, why? I don't say I don't say this to pump myself up because when you know when I was in the world and I was doing everything contrary to the Holy Spirit, it, it was ugly and I and I definitely wasn't who I was supposed to be and, and where I was supposed to be. But when I was in the world, I never tried to redefine what I was doing. I never lied to myself that this is okay. That God don't see this. What I would do is I would turn down the Holy. I would turn down the volume of the Holy Spirit and distance myself. So I did. I I didn't feel as convicted in the moment. But conviction always came you know, shortly after because I I didn't play the game of no uh, 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 selling is dope. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with 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 with, with chasing women and smashing this and that and i never played that game so because i knew it wasn't the truth i was honest i just was like man i can remember i, I you know we be we be doing whatever we doing and somebody would say something inaccurate about god and i get to I jump right into apologetics nope that ain't right that ain't right blah 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 and they'd be like did you just sell? Did you just smoke? Did you just smash? And you got and you, you know, you know. I I, I kind of was always around people that you know. They, but they didn't necessarily clown me like, "Are oh, you hypocrite?" But they they was like, "Hold on, Rico, what's you like?" And I'd be like, "Look." I know what I said just flies in the face of everything that we doing, but I'm wrong. I ain't making it seem like I'm dead wrong in everything that I'm doing. And this is the truth. You wrong. You wrong. I'm wrong. We wrong. This is the truth. And they always could respect it. Like I can dig that. Like, like, yeah, you, a, you, you, you a hooligan, but you know what I'm saying? So, my whole point is saying all that is it's like, why would you, why would you, why would you play yourself? I don't know. I, I, I'm i not really trying to <laughs> diagnose or, uh, or you're, 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 you're in the right, you're in the right vein because, because what you're saying is uh, almost a hundred percent of almost, I would say a hundred percent, maybe 90% of the church, maybe 95% of the church. I yeah. said 90 percent of the church don't know or not where you say I mean necessarily where the original disciples were. Yeah. Cause they can't say, hey, I, I left everything for you. Right. Like like Peter when uh Jesus asked him, you know, after they, you know, uh um after he asked him if you want to eat up my, eat up drink of my blood and eat up my flesh, and, mm. and then uh, and a hundred of um, I don't know how much the number turned back, and he took turned to look at them. He said, "Oh, would you turn away and leave me also?" No, Peter said, "No, Lord." Mm-hmm. Notice what he said, "No, Lord." 
<laughs> right. We have left, we have left everything for you. Yeah. And yeah. what did Jesus say? He that left everything for me, it, it will enter into my kingdom. In other words, you mm-hmm. made a full you made a full commitment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> The average Christian, the average believer, we can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> technically, technically, we cannot say that. Yeah. Technically, we cannot. Technically, we cannot say that. And, 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 and that's, that, I will be, you that, know, I, I, I try to trick lightly on saying whether or not somebody is or ain't saved. But you know it, 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 it you know, I, I question whether or not, you know, what I'm saying, whether you actually understand. Like, I think a lot of people say a some sort of sinner's prayer, but they don't really understand what it is. They don't understand what they're saying. They don't understand that they they don't understand the believe part. They don't understand the faith part. They think it's just word magical words. Just like Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior. Go ahead, Al. Let's let's ask this question. Where in the scripture where it talks about a a prayer of repentance? A prayer of repentance? Yeah. Like your first time saying, you know, you give you give your heart to the Lord. Mm-hmm. But the only on the only scripture that indicates what all you have to do, he said, um, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart. Mm-hmm. That, that Jesus had died for this, you shall be saved. He's, all you're supposed to do is believe. Yeah, I believe. I mean, it's not necessarily you saying the prayer because when you look at that scripture. Ain't nobody said no prayers. <laughs> Look, check it out. Look, check it out. Because Paul, Paul didn't say no prayer. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. What, what, what that say right there? But what does it say? The word is near you and in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Lord. Yep. See, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. That's heavy, then, man. That's heavy. Wait. Think That's heavy right there, bro. So, 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 you know what I just read? You know what I just read? I just read proof text that you have to believe that Jesus is God to be saved. So, and, and not and, and a lot of people don't believe that he's God, right? You so, you because you get with, you get with the oneness. Mm, mm, mm. Oh 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 yo y'all believe in three gods? Jesus well, is not God, you know what I just said? But I Jesus thought, is not God. But the oneness, but the oneness, the oneness, the way they said Jesus is the Father, Jesus is Son, Jesus is the Holy Ghost. There is no three, right? But then when you read the scripture, they all have distinctive. But don't oneness believe that Jesus is God, right? Yeah. Yeah, they believe that. But they don't, they don't, they believe, they believe the Trinitarian doctrine is heresy. Right. So I, I, so I, I, you know, I, I still, I, that, that's another show. That's another show. I, I, I want to dig up and find out, but the age old, question of the Jehovah's Witness, the Mormon, any faction of Christianity, any offshoot of Christianity, if you don't believe that Jesus is God, God you can in the press. Yep. You have to believe he's God to receive yep. salvation. I just read yep. it. In the, the yeah. call, call to yeah. salvation. But what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess, that means you know. You can only confess something that you know. 
If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is God, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the for with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For Christian scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. Everyone who believes he's God. Not, not just that he's Savior, but that he's God. So my God. How many, like, man, God, God ain't, God ain't bending and reshaping himself and molding himself to you. He is him. Ain't that what the kids say? He, that he, he, he's, he's him. (laughs) I don't even know how to say it right (laughs) But God ain't, he's not changing for you. He's not altering how you get to him for you. It's perfect the way it is. And you, like the old church saying, you must come in at the door. You, you got to come in at the door. He's the way, he's the way. The truth and the life. If you want to see, if you want to see Jesus, you got to live right. You must be saved. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, George Bass Squire. Yeah, that's George Bass Squire. <laughs> it's 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 one way. He's not changing for you. So, if you believe and confess that Jesus is. Lord, that Jesus is God, that Jesus is master, that Jesus is almighty. If Jesus is your personal Lord and Savior, he's your master. You run every, see, 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 that's why, that's why the life of the believers or so-called believers are so in shambles because there is not one faction, one detail, one nothing that should be in the hands of Christians or that should come across the deaths of Christians or should be in the possessions of Christians. And God is not the head of it, not a job, not 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 education, not who not who you pick to marry, the kids you have, uh, how much money you spend, if you go on a trip, if you every single thing that you do, Jesus has to be Lord of it. Everything. I'm fat because he hasn't been Lord over my weight. <laughs> We <laughs> we fat <laughs> me too. <laughs> That's why I laugh, man. That's why I laugh, man. Me too. <laughs> like, like, yeah, ain't, ain't ain't nothing, ain't nothing that we encounter. There, like, Christians have believers have a a false sense of you ain't got to include God in everything. Like it ain't that serious. It is. It is. It is. Like we need to be obsessed about God. We need, we need to be obsessed about the Lordship the ship of Christ. We need to be obsessed about his identity and our identity in him. 